Welcome guys, yes Bino, I finished gearing her and yeah, let's test her out, let's check her out and yeah, let's have a great overview about her skills and so on. So she has the malevolent grudge. Bon Bino attacks our enemies in a straight line four times, dealing 106% of Bino's attack as damage each time, only dealing 40% damage to targets outside of basic attack range. Each hit can trigger normal attack effects. Um, then we have bonus effects. Um, for every 100 points of attack speed, Bo Benu deals um, additional hit to the first enemy struck, triggering up to 5 extra hits. So basically you try to get 500 attack speed on her. Sadly I only managed to get 464, but it's fine, I think. Um, then we have the Melvin Gretsch Enhancement changed to firing magic missiles. In three directions and missile damage is increased by 10%. Then she has the Rail of Resentment. Bino attacks the nearest enemy, prioritizing dragons, three times dealing 200% of Bino's attack as damage each time. This skill can also trigger normal attack effects. Also, Rail of Resentment Enhancement, this skill deals 1.5 damage to targets with shields or damage deflection. So good against tanks, basically. Then we have the Corpse Aura. Every third normal attack triggers an effect, dealing 80% of Bino's attack as true damage to the target, which can crit. When the effect is triggered, Bino restores health equal to 200% of his attack, so he can heal himself. Um, then we have the Enhancement. When an Arrow Dragon is on the same row as Bino and is alive, Bino takes 60% less damage. That's kind of nuts, cause this can also be paired with a dragon like Horus. When you do a 6 man lineup, you will see this later. Uh, then the soul grass, whenever dragon or elite monster dies on the battlefield, Bino absorbs 1 soul, up to 8 stacks. Each soul increases Bino attack by 4% and attack speed by 40 points. That's why I didn't went for so much um, attack speed from the beginning, cause I only miss 36 attack speed. And whenever um, someone dies, she absorbs the soul and then she basically has the full potential of his ultimate for me. So that's kind of good. Uh, when she dies, she will revive after 1.5 seconds with 6% of their max HP and restores 400 rage. For each soul, Bino gains an additional 50% of their max HP and restores immediately 100 energy. This makes her basically very very good against summons, summoner teams, cause she kinda can blast ulti after ultimate. The revival can only occur once per attack, yes. Um, you see we get even more of these soul points, attack speed, when we have the trainer which can give um, one level. Uh, when Bino revives, they terrify nearby enemies causing them to flee and take 100% of Bino's attack as damage per second. This lasts for 2 seconds, so the enemies close by are running straight away for 2 seconds. That's kinda nice. Also, exclusive effects. So aggressive enhancement. Every time an allied dragon revives, they deal damage equal to 800% of Bino's attack to nearby enemies. This damage can crit. So if you pair with other survival heroes, she benefits a little even more. So let's talk about her gear. You can see I used the Annihilation gear. Um, let's dive in and tell why. Um, yeah, you also first off see we get a crit rate bonus, which is kind of nice. When the target HP is lower than 50%, we gain 50% more crit damage. But also, the mortal effect is insane. Crit damage plus 20%, but we continue to continue to lose HP until first death. After uh, Resurrection, crit damage is again increased to 80%, so we gain another 60% more damage, crit damage when she dies, that is huge. So basically what we want, we want her to die as fast as possible, so she can revive and blast out even more damage. Um, you see on... I, I have 100% crit rate on her in fight, after that I went for crit damage. You see I have now 133.8 with 58.7k attack 
Um, I show you the pieces I'm wearing on her. This is an incredible piece. Three times attack, attack speed, crit rate on crit damage is not getting better, so that's awesome. Here we have attack, crit damage and some extra attack. Here I have two times attack, crit damage and some crit rate. So the front row, the top row is pretty nice. Super happy with this, but the bottom row is what I'm missing pieces of, but yeah. We have the gloves with crit damage and some more crit damage and a little bit of attack. Here obviously attack with some more crit damage and some attack. Here also I have some attack with crit rate, crit damage and attack. But you see the bottom row is not that greatest. But nevertheless let's test her out in some PvE and PvE PvP action. Let's go. So first of all what I do just going into Frost Divers. Put her in on the front row. Try to get her to die on stage 22 but to get her some damage boost and see how her damage is against, yeah, let's say single target. Um, we don't really have bosses content for Hunter at the moment, so kinda hard to test the Hunter in PvE, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, we see the damage here. It's not really impressive, guys, but I can promise you in PvP is incredibly strong we can see this later so don't pull this video off until you saw her in pvp you see her damage is kind of like equal to my play on here which is kind of like sad because play on is not really doing a lot of damage you see loki and Inovis are doing way 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 more damage so that's just the first test so, uh, to compare this Yes, let's put her just for fun in the deep rock layer here. It's like whatever deep rock layers. Kind of super easy to beat. Um, but yeah, whatever. I don't know where I can show her in PvE, so that's that's a problem. Uh, we can show her on the guide boss and see what she can do there. On the daily guide boss, that's a good idea too. Um, here, yeah, she did. 25 million, not incredible, not bad. So let's test out in the, in the daily challenge. That's kind of always good to figure out how she can do. We put her obviously in the front row so she can maybe die. Uh, we can also put in the new defenders bracers and yeah, just skip it and see how much damage she is able to do here. So we see she's doing here 157, she's doing double the damage of the fish, it's not that great, so overall in PvE I will rate her pretty low, she's in PvP like D, uh, C or D tier for me, it's not good, but let's check out PvP now. So I put in together a team here for PvP, you see I'm using five hunters and horrors i put her in the front tank to maybe die quick and let's test this out against a strong summoner team here and see how she does she does in pvp she's ulting pretty quick and doing awesome damage she can ult again and yet you kind of see what she does in PvP, she's ulting, ulting, ulting against summoners, it's incredible. That was a very, very good battle for her, I think. 120 million, while my haters only did 61, so that's kinda big. Let's see another fight. Here we have some mages, let's see how she can do against mages. Which have some burst, you see she's kinda dying pretty quick here. And yeah, couldn't uh, pull off here anything sadly. Somehow I don't know if she even resurrected here. Doesn't look like this or she got insta deaded again. That was kinda not good against mages so... See, don't better use uh, hunters against mages. We go in here against a uh, stronger summoner team again. Let's see how she can do here at this fight again. 
But I kind of feel like she's very, very strong against Summoner. I would love to test her against tanks, because I think against tanks she's also incredibly strong. But sadly, I'm not gonna find some people that are using tanks right now. But you see, she's doing great damage here again. She kind of should be resurrecting now, yes. You see, she's firing again after she resurrected and killed Loki there instantly. So again, she's going ham here. That's that's awesome. Yeah, let's try this against this strong um, rock team. And the, for the last time I try, last fight, let's see how this works out for her. Um, yeah, let's just see what happens here against this team. It's kind of really strong team too. We lost some dragons pretty early here. Now she revives and she's shooting. But her damage here is kind of low, so... Yeah, what I figure out here... She's very good against summoner teams, maybe against tank teams, but against all the other teams she kind of sucks, so in PvP... Yeah, I give her a uh, B tier, I think. Yeah, B to A tier, but she can't reach like the damages of some other hunters against some specific teams. So yeah, that's it guys. Hope this video helped you out to figure out how good the, or bad the new dragon is. Peace. You always have one.